We know why we're here today. Uh, the reason why we're here is, is because a, a Baker's Union activist uh, has been dismissed uh, for making people aware of the issues around the, the living wage that's recently been introduced. And uh, the decision by the company to single him out because he made, he made a stand and encouraged people to stand uh, with him and against uh, the issue of what the company was trying to do, which was to reduce people's wages in there. And for that, they victimised him and dismissed him. So I think Coomeran could probably explain it a lot better than I can about the situation inside of that factory and what's happened to him since. So the, the reason why we're here today is to stand in solidarity with Coomeran. So please give him a warm welcome, Coomeran boss. Hey. 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 First of all, I want to thank each and everyone who come here to support me, that was great all the unions, Becker's Union, United Union, all the union, GMP, and everybody who is here, each and everyone here to come and support me, Tamil Solidarity, each and every person here to support me. That was great. Uh, the reason I've been dismissed is to stood up against the con new contract, new proposal. I said no for everything. I said no for Christmas Day coming and working on a Christmas Day. I said no. And the uh, shift premium, shift allowance is going to go down. I said no. It shouldn't be because we should be earning more, not less. The, the inflation goes up, food price goes up, everything goes up. Why should we lose money? That was my first question asking for the directors. They didn't like it. In the first meeting, I stood up asking all these questions. We're not, we're not happy about losing money. And they started scaring the people, oh, we have to sign the contract, otherwise you're going to lose the job. I said it's not about losing the job. It's the contract is not right. We want what we want. We don't want to lose money. They said, oh, we, you're going to lose money now. We're going to take the money slowly. In 2020, you're going to lose everything. I said, no. We don't know what the future is going to bring. So we want more money, not less money or whatever you're paying now. The ship premium, Christmas Day, bank holiday, uh, night ship elements, everything is gone. I said, no, we need more. Not, at least what we what you give, we want that, not less. That's why I asked for. Uh, from that time, they're finding me different, different allegations against me. Uh, saying, okay, we, we find this is a mistake, that's a mistake, you've done this and that. As usually they did, I think they find some reasons to dismiss me. But the Baker's Union was there, I spoke to Baker's Union, George was with me, and George helped me a lot in explaining me what is the union and everything, I joined the union. And when I became a union member, I started to uh, be an active member inside, as a union activi activist inside, and the voice of the union inside, and asking the people to join the union, to have a voice inside the factory. So I've given a lot of speeches. The 50% of the people joined the union, nearly. So what happened? Company was scared. They said they want to set me an example. So they give, they dismissed me. What they're saying is if you join the union, you get dismissed. If you be an activist, you dismissed. It doesn't scare me when they said, because I stood up for it, I will, I will, I will be united as your help yeah, yeah, yeah. until the end. Until then, whatever happens, I will fight. I will ask each and every person working inside, 512 workers, to get the justice and need to be paid what they get paid before. Don't use the living wages as a reason to cut their wages and everything. Your big bosses, please pay them what they, uh, what they get before. Thank you very much for your help. And uh, I would like to thank again each and everyone who come and help me here. Thank you. Please come, mate. Please come. I mean, we've got a we've got a number of speakers um, today, uh, and I want to apologise for anybody who picks up on the fact that they all happen to be male. Um, but obviously, um, if the if you know if if the issue if the issue we're facing is one where an individual is victimised in 2016, then we need the whole of the labour movement. We need the voices of the labour movement to support us. Obviously, I want to introduce our General Secretary, the General Secretary of the Baker's Food and Allied Workers Union, who's going to tell you about the role that we will be playing as a trade union. And obviously, as we go through um, the, the platform, there is a number of speakers, like I say, from, from different uh, campaigns that have been working with us and working on this campaign. But first off, could we please welcome our General Secretary, Ronnie Draper. Thank you, Ian. Uh, that's great. And obviously, I'll reiterate everything that Ian said about thanking you all for turning up today. You know, today is not about, you know, screwing the company. This is about building awareness on a campaign that is just starting. One that's going to really gather legs and it's going to grow like a snowball as we go on. What we've got to do, we've got to make sure that this company pays the price for what they've done to one of our workers. 
you know what I'm sick of over the last few months, whether you're an in or an outer in this European campaign, both sides telling you that they were on the side of workers. Well, this is the reality, whether you were in or whether you were out. This guy was sacked before that the election took place. We've had it now and he's still sacked. The reality is that companies like this were allowed by this government to jump on a passing bandwagon that they call the living wage, that we call the joke living wage, and allow them to claw that money back. And that is absolutely <laughs> disgraceful, considering when you see the abysmal wages that these people were paid right from the start. So first of all, we've got to take the campaign to make sure that not only Coomeran is reinstated, but the people are repaid the money that the company's trying to take away from them. I've got to say, I didn't know Coomeran before conference. I'd seen photos of him. Yo, know, this is not a revolutionary. Believe it or not, he's not an anarchist. He's not a troublemaker. This is a guy who had the courage of his convictions to stand up against an oppressive employer. And this company is nothing but an oppressive employer. The seeking to deny trade union recognition in the face of when we've got 50% and above of the people in here in the union already. And that's something that is going to continue to grow. And I hope that you will help us along that journey. I say he's a decent bloke who's just fought for fairness trumped up charges and that's all that we can say that he is and we've got our lawyers working on it as well at the moment they are trumped up charges if this guy was a bully if he was a bully they would have found out it wouldn't take them 12 years with an impeccable record not in a union and then all of a sudden he joins a union he starts speaking up for people to find out that he's a troublemaker or he's a bully or whatever so we disregard the charges that are made against him and we will do everything in our, our power as a trade union. You know, I hope that we make the Candy Udwin protest look like small pride with the things that we're going to do. We've got global support. Um, I've got letters off Francis O'Grady, Ron Oswald, who's the General Secretary of the International Union of Food Workers, uh, Doug Nichols, who's the General Secretary of the General Federation of Trade Unions, and all the unions who are present at the trade union coordinating group last week. All of those people send messages of support for Coomeran. But you know, we can do stuff as well. We've put down EDMs and we're going to have an MP speaking later on, Richard Bergen. we put down an EDM already, so you get your MP to get up and support that EDM when it comes and make sure that it delivers. I want to finish off, Chair, by just saying the worst thing that a private company likes, or hates, sorry, is they hate their brand being affected. And this is the thing that if we've got to escalate this, the next thing we do is we find out every product that this company makes right across all its factories, and then we take it out into the community. And we tell people, and we tell trade union members that we boycott it until these people reinstate Kumar and Bosa. Yeah. You as individuals can write to the company, write to Paul Davey by all means, but go on their complaint line. Exactly the same as we did at Hobus in Wigan and tell the company unless they reinstate this man then we're not going to buy your product and that will stop your profits. You won't be able to donate to the Tory party anymore. Solidarity comrades, let's get him back to work.